Hey campers, this is going to be my launching video for our YouTube channel. Um, you can expect the virtual tours, which I think are going to be a very useful thing for people to use. What I'm going to do is I'll park my camper, pop the slide, pop the awning if it's what nice out, set up my uh, kitchen gazebo, and then I'll do a walk around of the campsite so you, so you can see how much room is actually on that particular site. Uh, the title of each video will be the site that I'm in, in the campground I'm in. I'll also do a video, like in the uh, the walk around, I will show the approach to get in. Because I've been in a site in Wadden Bay, for example, W39, that was plenty big for my camper, but it's a circle road, and you have to like be on jackknife it to get in it's one way so i have to go the other way so this will at least give you a, a complete idea of what you can expect when you get to your campground um the other thing i'm going to do on this channel is i'll do a review on my camper things i do to my camper things that might break down on my camper and then how we fix them uh, i'm also going to do uh reviews of campers i like when i'm at the RV show in February. So if I see something I like in a camper, I'm going to quickly pull out my phone. I'll record it. I'll tell you what I like about it. I'll go out and I'll make sure I get the whole camper in frame. So you can kind of take a look at what, what it is. And if you also like it, and if you're in the market for camper, maybe that'll kind of get you to go take a look at that particular camper. Uh, I only go to the Saskatoon show hosted by Lardner's, uh, Glenwood and Sherwood RV. So, I don't go to other shows, and I don't travel to see shows. Uh, and then I also, like, if I see, like, a gadget, too. Like, um, I'll probably do one of that Easy Up ramp I bought for changing wheels on the uh, tandem axles. So, I'll do reviews of stuff like that on the channel as well. Uh, those will be quick, short videos. Today's video, though, I'm going to review my, my camper. Uh, I'll tell you what I don't like about it what's broke, and what I like about it. I'm going to finish with what I like about it. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to start with is what my camper is. It is a 2017 Keystone Hideout 272 LHS. I bought it brand new in 2017 at the 2017 Spring RV Show uh, at the Prairie Land Park in Saskatoon. Fun fact is if you went to the 2017 show and you went through all the trailers with a bunk model or a bunk house, I guarantee you've probably been in my camper. So congratulations to you. And it was also used in a promotional video by Lardner's at that very same RV show. Um, so I feel my camper is a celebrity to at least 50 people. Yeah, I feel special, guys. So, now what I don't like about my camper is probably the same thing that most of us don't like, and that's storage. I find that with we've camped with three boys that are running around, and last year we had one that was still learning to crawl. He's my youngest. He's I'm gonna I'm gonna do the taboo thing. He's 14, 15 months now. Wait, what month are we? He's 15 months old. Yeah, so, so obviously my, my fourth child didn't do much, but my, my other three, you know, we have suitcases for them, we have toys for them, so it's always a bit of a struggle to get everything stored. Um, our linens, for example, we don't really have a good dedicated linen closet, so they go in the top of the pantry that you'll see later on when I do my walkthrough in my camper. Uh... I don't have a lot of storage in the bathroom. Like I have a medicine cabinet like we pretty much all campers have. And then I have a very small storage space under my sink. Um, and I don't have a toilet paper holder on there. And I keep forgetting to get one. You think after two years I'd be like, I need one of these. I keep forgetting. But it would be nice if I had something for the good old TP. My plan is to buy one of those ones that just sits on the floor. So that it's not into the wall, because knowing my son Rylan, he's the one that I ac accidentally bear sprayed. He will find a way to pull it off. In my house, he tried doing chin-ups on the hand towel, pulled the hand towel out the wall. But a week or two later, 
was playing Tarzan on the Venetian blinds. Pulled them out the wall. So, if I get one of those, I can just see him doing something and breaking it. So, I'm going to get one of the ones on the floor. Um, but, yeah, so storage is kind of a big thing. Uh, with the fridge, we only have the six cubic foot fridge. And then I have one of the Coleman plug-in refrigerated coolers. The fridge is too small. Uh, I'd love to have a, an eight cubic foot fridge. Um, in terms of even like pantry space for food, we're pretty good because of the pantry. It's nice and big. We don't have an issue there. Um, in terms of cutlery, I got two drawers, so I have plenty of drawers for all my cutlery. That's nice. I have the bin behind me right here. We put all of our cups in there, so I'm okay there. Cups, breads, stuff, it all goes in there. And then I have another one above my sink that is for plates. I'll show you those later. Uh, the one, the top one behind me above my TV, that is for chips and snack. No, not chips. Taryn, I forget what we put in there, dear. If you actually watch this video, comment down below in the comment section. I don't remember what goes in there. Or do we put chips in there and just bread in above that one? I don't know. And then underneath... The TV, there's another one, and that's where we put our DVDs and our Blu-rays. Uh, then we have the two closets in our bedroom that we don't really use. We tend to just live in, our, in a suitcase. And the suitcases are also an issue because like they kind of go on the bed during the day instead of having like a dedicated place where they're out of sight and just not there. I know, I'm being nitpicky, but I'm allowed. Uh, another thing I don't really like is my TV is not on a swivel. So it cannot swivel into the master bedroom uh it would be nice to have that it's that obviously is not make or break and it also you can save the curtains uh i would rather have like those pocket doors but again that takes up room so i'm not it'd be a nice feature it's not really necessary uh and i think that's oh and uh, the compartment doors for storage outside they're small they're about the same size as every other camper uh and I just find, like, when I'm pulling my gazebo out or putting it in, a lot of times I kind of bang the lip of the door a bit. So, I wish I had a larger compartment. Uh, if you're in the same boat as me, check out the Outback. They got a drop-down frame, and it's the only trailer with a drop-down frame that is a bumper pull. And it's just got ample of uh, storage space. Uh... I think that's oh and the two doors i have the two door model which is really nice for when my kids are messy which is pretty much all the time so they just go in and hose off but i also have a utility shower right at the back of the trailer so i can hose them off outside as well uh, i just looking at other campers i kind of prefer the uh single door i don't know why I do, I, I just, I can't answer why, I, I just seem to like those more, like there's a 270 VBH by Sport Track. it's a 27 footer, it's just got the one door, and that layout to me, I just like it so much more, I don't, I don't know why, just a preference thing, um, so that, that's really about all I don't like, it's very nitpicky things, you know, like, uh, this is, um, I, I've always called this like a, a working man's trailer. It's it's a very affordable trailer. It's, I got it for a touch under $30,000. So, you know, to, to expect to have an eight cubic foot fridge or or a swivel TV or anything of that nature, you know, at the price point I got it, it's just not realistic. So for what I paid for, oh, and I don't like that my sinks are the white. I would love stainless steel sinks in both the kitchen and the bath with the brush steel. Um, again, nitpicky. Like I'm nitpicking. That's how much I like my my trailer. Uh, what have I? What I've had happen to it was the motherboard on the water heater went the very first week long trip I took. I had taken about two or three weekend trips before this. Everything ran fine. We were at Saskatchewan Landing Provincial Park, and then on. Tuesday, we were shipping down to Cypress Hills in a provincial park. And this was 2017, first year with the camper. Um, so in the morning, when we're doing dishes and kind of doing that final cleanup before leaving camp at Sask Landing, I heard the water heater go on. No problem. Good. Everything's uh, operating as per usual. Got to Cypress Hills. Uh, 
I had noticed that like I didn't have any hot water when I was trying to do some dishes. And uh and then I kind of was like, oh, I didn't hear the, the the DSI going off, so that the direct spark injection or inject or whatever it's called. That little tap 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 and then for those with propane, you know that sound. I hadn't heard that go off. So I thought maybe I didn't turn the switch on. So I checked the switch. Switch was off. Turned it on. Still nothing. So uh, the next day, I think it would, would have been, I called uh, the dealer I bought off of, which we all know is Lardner's. And they were busy, I assume, because I was on hold for about five minutes. And I called the, uh, the service department. And uh, Kelly had picked up after about five minutes. And uh, it might not have been five minutes, but... I was on hold is the point. Uh, so I told him what was going on with my camper. And he, and like I consulted my troubleshooting section in my owner's manual. And uh, he said, okay, well, uh, I don't have your specific water heater in front of me right now. Let me go out onto the lot to another uh, hideout LHS with the same water heater so that I can look just to make sure everything has been checked over like we've checked everything so he took my number down and he called me back maybe five ten minutes later and he was outside and he was in front of a water heater the exact same one i had and uh he was like okay is this looking like this i was like yeah and is this this i'm like yep 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 everything was checking out there he's like okay he's like what you could do is light it up and he's like it's gonna kind of like not explode on you but like he's like it's gonna you know propane in the area around that's not being burned so that's gonna ignite so he's like be careful for that he's like if you want to try so i tried that and it uh went out instantly so i thought it was the thermocouple and uh but again we don't know on out uh on the site so uh because like, okay yeah it's like sorry bud like you're not gonna have any water hot water you know bring her into the shop as soon as you come home and as I was like, well, I'm, I'm only home for about three weeks. And then I'm gone for a week into uh, Drumheller slash Edmonton area. And then I'm home for a week. And then I'm gone to Banff area. I'm like, so can we get it fixed in that three-week window? If not, I'll just wait until the end of the year. Uh, he's like, oh, no, we'll get it done for you. So he's like, just make an appointment. So I made an appointment for the Monday. Then I got back. I got back Sunday. Made an appointment for the Monday. Dropped off. I think it was about two, two and a half weeks later. It was done. Uh, which is... It's quick for a camper. And uh, that was pretty much the only mechanical issue I've had. Was that motherboard on the water heater. Everything's been perfect since then. I And I did have some warranty work done on it. Like I had trim pieces. The uh, On my counter, the edge cap was starting to pull out in one of the corners. So I had that fixed. Uh, my one cupboard, the screws had vibrated out. So I had that fixed, so they fixed all that. And then on my, around the trim piece on my, the wall for my, my bunkhouse there, it came out, so they, they fixed that. And some of the rubber seals uh, it came out, so they still code those. And I'm, those I'm still kind of, as they pop out, I have them, I'm, I'm fixing them. I got a little felt thing that's coming out the bottom of the door that I got to take the door apart this summer. And then I'm going to tuck that back under and I'll seal cone that up. But... That's all small problems that all of us are going to deal with because we were pulling a house down a highway. So none of that bothers me. The only thing I've had was that hot water system mechanically, and that was handled the first year. So it's been awesome. I've also put over 10,000 kilometers on this camper in the two summers we've used it. And I've slept in it 71 times, I think it is. So we've got a lot of use out of it too. And to only have... Those small issues, I think, is a testament to how well built this unit is. And again, keep in mind, I have three boys that, well, I have four boys, but I have three boys that are running around playing. I have a 65 pound black lab, I have a 105 pound yellow lab, you know, like, uh, there's a lot of, of wear and tear and, and, and fighting, and not fighting, but like play fighting that goes on. And to only have that is awesome. So it's been a well built trailer, which I like. Uh, and again, that's going to segue me into what I do like as well, is A, the build quality. That is the most important thing to me is the build quality. I haven't had, it, other than the water heater, I've had nothing. And you guys that have been on the site have been on for a while. You can see that I've been stuck in the mud with it. We had to double truck to get it out of the mud and it was 
covered in mud. Nothing broke. I got it stuck in some snow trying to get it in when I had a mouse in this year trying to get to learners. Again, nothing. Like, nothing. None of my sewage stuff got ripped off. My water, my fresh water drain plug, nothing got ripped off. It's The build quality is extremely well on this camper. Um, That vacuum. I have a vacuum on here. And again, for like what I call an everyday man's trailer, to have a little vacuum is awesome. You know, my kids can vacuum this thing up in about two and a half minutes. I don't have to bring a shop back with me. I still do for my truck, but I don't need one for my camper. I don't need a broom for my camper. It's just in that truck back. I love that. Uh, I, the price on it, I love. Because if it was more expensive, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. And I don't... Like, the amount of joy I get out of camping and spending time with my family and exploring and hiking... It's one of the happiest things in my life. And the price point of this camper got me into that. So I love that. Um, yeah, it's like I just like I love how it's given our family a reason to get out and enjoy each other's company. Before getting this camper, we took one holiday a year and we were hoteling it. And, you know, it, it was always a, a nice hotel or a nice holiday. But now we're doing, you know, three plus weeks of camping every year. And it's because of this camper, so I love that. Um, and I love its weight. I don't know if I went over the weight. Its uh, weight is 5980-ish unloaded. Uh, it's got a payload of about 1750, if I remember correctly. And it's got a tongue weight of around 630, 640, if I remember correctly. So, And again, it's a very manageable trailer. You know, a full-size SUV can handle this thing easily. A half ton obviously handles it easily. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, those are things I like about it. Just the build quality, number one. Um, oh, well, and also the dealer that I, I picked. I, I It's not so much the camper, but the dealer I picked. I've had fantastic customer support from day one. Um, so, all of that I like. Like, like the, the, the build quality is number one. Uh, you know, that vacuum has a bonus that that's up there. Um you know, just the ease of use, like, this is a very easy trailer to use, it's very easy to learn on, so if you're new to the RV world, like I was, it's super easy, like, yeah, um, and yeah, and the fact that it gets started, that's what I like, so, I think what I'm gonna do now is, I can't have my side out right now, so I'm gonna hook up to my trailer, pull it out so I can pop my side out, we'll go take a look, and I'll show you a quick walk around on the outside, and then I'll do a walk around on the inside after that, and then we will uh, get out of your hair. I'm already at 18 minutes or so. So Taryn's already going to be nagging at me a little bit. She doesn't nag me, but I like bugging her. I love bugging her about it. Try to troll her online as much as I can. But yeah, so uh, she's going to be nagging me about me being long-winded. And the virtual tours are also, they're not going to be long-winded like this. I'm going to try to keep my video, video short, but first video, it'll be long. Uh, you can expect a few more because I'm going to do uh, some more storage solutions in my camper this year. Because uh, I've been kind of putting it off for some reason. I don't know. I'm a bit of a procrastinator sometimes. It's a problem. It's a problem that I have. So yeah. Um, hopefully you guys find a lot of use out of the uh, the virtual tours. Though. That's the big one is the virtual tours. I hope that is what really people go to the site or the channel for. So all right guys let's uh let's go on outside and we'll see you outside in a second okay so start out on this side um try to stay far enough back so you can keep it on there you can see the bunks on the passenger or drive side pardon me storage underneath that's talking about slides right there uh what i really like is also where the right in the middle there that is my utility utility shower so the boys I get dirty, I can hose them off. Just around the other corner is the door. And then up top, you can see, oh, it's uh, sunny, you can see. Right there, it's got backup camera uh, prep, which I think is, I don't know, I, two years, I don't think it's really necessary. And I back up a lot by myself without the kids, or without Taryn guiding me when, uh, when I'm doing a week with the kids. Here's the uh, outside of it. I can see the double door. The awning, it's got the two outdoor speakers. Underneath, it's got the rope light. So, yeah. And then, 
Oh, the one thing too that it doesn't have that I wish it had is it's only got the propane water heater. It would be nice if it had the natural, no, the electric and the uh, propane. So let's go inside the. All right. So as you come into the unit, up front is the ba is the bedroom, just like every other one. Um. Oh, another thing that broke is on that side. You see, it's still zip tied. Uh, the emergency handle that broke while driving so that uh, that emergency window was flapping in the wind it was kind of kind of fun uh one of the things that i like about my 272 lhs is the bins right in front of me they no longer have those they have nicer like kind of like almost like a potted type light there in the roof where that led light is but i like having that extra storage that's where all of our cups and stuff go you got your your sofa oh, i can't change it like that i forgot your dinette those are the two prizes we have left, guys. Your TV. I have my TV on an arm so that it pulls out and I can angle it so that if you're sitting here, you still get a good view of the TV. This, I want to go to a stainless steel sink with the brushed steel faucet. Taryn tells me no. Uh, and then, yeah, your stove, microwave, pretty standard stuff. Six foot cubic fridge. Um... This is the pantry that I was kind of talking about. Like, it's big. You know, it's big. So, yeah, that top rack right here is where we kind of put our, our linens. And then everything else goes down there. And the bunks. I think what I'm going to do, too, this year is I'm going to put along this wall. Along this wall, I'm going to put, like, whiteboards so that the boys can uh, color up there. Although, I'm a little afraid that if I do that. There's going to be marker everywhere. Uh, and on that window, you can see how I have all the, uh, I don't know what those are called, at the top of the windows. These things, I had to take that one off that window because the boys were just wreaking havoc on it. Little, like, curtain rod thing. And then the bathroom. And my very fancy boat. Yeah, guys. That took me all the way from one end of Lock 11 to the other end. So, you know, it's a good size bathroom, which I like. I really like that. Uh, and then, I don't know what's in here. I haven't been in here in a while. So, yeah, and like you can see in there, again, not a lot of storage underneath there. So, that's the inside and outside. And I got the medicine cabinet. So, ooh, we forgot to clean that this year. Fun. Fun stuff, guys. So, you know, that's kind of it. Like, I have... Oh, I just stepped on on my thing uh, and this is the vacuum i was talking about too like it's nice to have that vacuum i have storage there that's where all of our dvds and the video games go up there's my chip storage and here we got our plates and stuff which we're going all paper burn it in a fire so much easier so yeah like it has decent storage in it but i just i want more and uh that's about it so yeah